I'm probably gonna do it while you're gone. Tokyo. The Spirit, do they have their own airport? No, I think they, they fly through on um, like Delta and any other major airports. Cause I have never seen, like I've been on plenty of planes and plenty of airports. I've never been in an airport and seen like Spirit. Like anywhere, like even like, okay, if you got a Spirit flight, take exit G. And then even like, as I'm going to get to my terminal, like I've never seen like a Spirit flight. I don't know, I don't, okay, I don't yeah. know. No, 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 I, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Like I've just never seen it. No, I haven't seen neither. Oh, um. Damn, I do want to do a piece, but I already know. I can feel myself right now. I'm already too buzzed. You know, sometimes you gotta take you to give yourself a break sometime and then pop back up on this day. No. I'm just looking at I'm just looking at the top 25 of T Pain fucking <laughs> shit. And this nigga got hits. Yeah, but but are his hits beating Travis Scott? He got I'm a I'm gonna pick out 20 other songs that people fuck with, and I know if they play in the club, just do, just do niggas 10. dancing. Yeah. I'm a flirt with R. Kelly is gonna be a hit. Okay. The Boss by Rick Ross. The Boss. I'm the biggest boss that you've seen thus far. Is he on there or he just? He's on that. Is it that? Is it that? He got a verse and everything on that bitch. Okay. Bartender. Shouty by Plies. He was on that bitch. Even though you know, yeah. good life with Kanye West. Okay, yeah, I'll give you that. That's four. All right. I'm so hood with on um, Khaled. And I'm I, I haven't even went to his songs yet. All right. Uh up down with BOB. That was shot the screw <laughs> what I had up there. I think that could be an L. All right, that could be L. I mean, but then uh, I, again, I don't know. You know the other. But Chop the Screw is not going to be an L because people know that song. Chop and screw, chop and screw. Chop and screw. He just officially been chopped and screwed. And, and screw. All right, I'm, I'm. Yeah, I don't know that one. I'm sorry. It, it, I feel like it. Oh, uh, da 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 da. Let me find. Uh, the the song that they were talking about, the um, Kiss Kiss with um, Chris Brown. I like that one. Uh, uh, but, but that's, I think that's kind of mid when you're doing a come when you're doing a versus. Uh, I can go either way. Uh, let me see. Go hard with on um, Khaled. He was on that one. Yeah. All right. Um, Maybach music too with Kanye West. All right. I would say this: Can T Pain outperform Travis Scott? No, nah, Travis Scott is a fucking performer. I can give you that one. All right. I get, but I, I'm saying that, that goes into it. That goes into it. Yeah, but I mean, most most of the people that you think they'll perform on um on um versus the only ones I seen that actually perform was Red Man and Messy Man. Everybody wait, else. Whoa, just, wait, what? They did that? Yeah, that was 420. Uh, fuck, I didn't see that. Who? Yeah, that was 420. Right, wait, who won? Nobody actually, they just did a whole meth and red, yeah, meth and red shit. But it was pretty much they had songs against each other, and that shit was actually raw. They did their thing. Oh, Those are two I'll, artists I'll, that you that you can say, hey, I didn't want them to go against each other, and I'm glad they didn't on theirs because both of them knew each other's song. Yeah, like they were they really home with each other. Yeah, That's they really home. Damn, I, you know what? I would have watched it because you know I really don't watch that. That's the only people. That's the only verses I know that people was performing heavy, and that was that was that ver, me, Red Man versus uh, Red Man and uh, Method Man versus. They was actually out there fucking performing, dancing, doing choreographed moves and uh, shit. Oh, I, mean, I, I would, yeah, because you know I really don't watch the verses like that. Yeah, but I would one hundred percent would have watched that one. That one was a real. Damn. Come on. Oh, title. low, low with T Pain. Shotta got the apologies. Root, root for the word. I still, I still right. gotta go with Travis, man. Bro, I'm put. I put up 25 songs that that man, and I already named 
fucking almost 10, 12 of these motherfuckers already that can go. No, you probably got seven of them. You're on about eight right now. I don't know. No, like, I wasn't counting, but I ain't going to say 12. See? <laughs> no, 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 no. What, what I'm saying is like I think he only named off like eight or nine songs. No, I went, I went through twelve of these motherfuckers because it's twenty five on this list, and I named majority of the ones that he already had going that was already charted on the Billboard as number one. So T Pain got more number one hits than uh, Travis Scott. I'm not going to even flex Ooh. you, bro. I know. I'm not Do going we? to even flex you. I'm looking at the billboard. Oh, shit. I can't play it while we're on here. Yo, I know this is weird. Well, not weird, but fuck it. It's uh, Nightcat. Um, and I need to go get my, my Euro. Not Gyro. I need to go get my Euro. Seeing somebody else eating. Um, <laughs> yo. Hey, I was so eating the whole time through yellow tape. Yeah. No, I mean, I, I was, I was having some fries, yeah. but I really wanted, I wanted my. Food. I was in that bitch like, ah. Um, <laughs> so I just, I just seen a story. Cops are are uh trying to eliminate um viral videos of them, like when they fucking somebody up. So, oh, well, not they're they're turn people. it off. No, no, because you know they they can't. You mean used in a court of law? Huh? You mean used in a court of law or just period? No, so, what, so what they're doing is like, so they know if they do something wrong and there's a video, that viral video can be kind of used against Influential? Them. No, no, it just, it just makes it, it, it can be used against them in court or even before they even get to court. Like with the George Floyd thing, if there was no video, like we wouldn't be where we are right now in that case. Right. That's dumb. So basically don't, don't do stupid right now, shit. No, basically what they're doing right now is they're playing, if they know they're being recorded, they will play music. Because you can't post somebody else's music on YouTube. It goes against copyrights. So the videos get pulled down. Speaking so of it, it makes it, it makes it less viral. Fuck on Nightcap, ladies and gentlemen. I know it's like the eighth week in a row that we in the pitch the act. Oh, <laughs> and one day we're actually gonna get it right. But that's all right. That's what makes us us. You know what I'm saying? But I'm I'm looking forward to this Red Man Method Man joint. But um, but yeah, I just seen that story and I was like, damn, that's smart. But you know, it was fucked up. It would be smarter if you just didn't violate people's fucking rights. How about you do that instead of sitting for trying not to make yourself go viral? How about that? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I say it that was. So, hey, if you out there and you recording somebody, if you're recording a cop and you hear music, just know your shit may not get posted or it might get pulled down. So your best bet is to you have an app. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, have an app. They can either, you could do the video, but then you can put up the subtitles. Like, I, I know there's apps out there to do it. And it may not be the best yeah. rendition, but that damn man, that's fucked up. But my bad. I'm pretty sure as long as you have the images of that person, like if somebody's gonna stay on somebody's neck, I don't think they're gonna that. You know what I'm saying? They cloud the music. They no, but like, but like they do. Going to jail. <laughs> but like, no, like the cops, like if there's multiple cops, they'll walk up next to you with like Drake playing loud. So like you can still, you can still hear them getting fucked up. Right. Like, hey, sir. And then you hear fucking Drake, sir. You know, they trying to block the camera <laughs> or whatever, but the music is playing. Everybody get your motherfucking rolling on. This is with my <laughs> <laughs> So it's, the music is just loud enough for you to know, like, oh, yo, that's such a song. So that's Travis Scott. That's that's fucking Drake. That's whoever. And it's like, oh, yeah. You Kiki, do you love me? I just imagine a cop be you. The <laughs> <laughs> whole thought process is fucked up. Whole no, it, no, it was the, uh, what was that joint you came out last year for TikTok? Oh, uh, thing. <laughs> left foot up, right foot <laughs> slide. <laughs> I'm sorry. I know it's fucked up. Oh, that'd, yeah, that'd be horrible. There's no ass sitting there fucking lipping to it too. I just no, no, Keith, no, no, no. Yeah, Keith that. probably would be worse, Bruh, Just imagine somebody just getting their ass whooped by the car and all year. Kiki, do you love me? I ain't ready. I'm to pour my drink never, right bro, <laughs> I just would have been like, just take me to jail now, cause I'm finna beat your ass. Like fuck out of here! You got me. No, worst one. God's plan. 
<laughs> oh, you get your ass whooped, the guys. No, I'm trying to pour. Stop, stop. <laughs> guys playing. <laughs> guys playing. <laughs> I didn't right. manage that. <laughs> there we go. All right. God. I did it for Sasa G. Well, this is another one. Non monetized uh, video nightcap. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Bro, I'm sorry. It's like, Bro, just 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 it's answer all this. Just put this later on. Just put the two minute <laughs> countdown down. <laughs> just, just, niggas can look at numbers all day and get ready for for a show. Just for the one time, we gotta have that. That was just. Oh, I, got, I got some shit to start a, to start a uh, debate. No, argument. actually, we actually broke the two minute because he was explaining the whole. Yeah, yeah. No, it, it's not we too. It's it. like it's like thirty seconds, right? But you talking about police? That's a that's a. Uh... They put that as far as like a uh, oh, like political. Well, you two yeah. is on that bull. No, yeah, 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 don't say that. Right. Hey, 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 hey you know. see, we love like, you though. We love like, you. Like, like, like they did my kind of You two, yeah, yeah, you it's, love it's, me. It's, it's Are you right? It's over here. <laughs> it's Defra Records with you two. Shout out to the gang. Google all them. Salute you two. Are you right? <laughs> you never ever leave from beside me. This is just some fuckery. Just just some fuckery. But if Godzilla is so much better than King Kong, you better not. Why? Why don't rappers use Godzilla more than King Kong, or do they? Eminem just made a song called Godzilla. That's one. But like, but like, how many songs are there out there like King Kong? I heard. I that because one, and that was from that dude from St. Louis. No, but like, I've I've been seeing like <laughs> songs with like King Kong. I don't know, man. I don't know. It just it. It really it, it made me smile because it was Buster like Rhymes, Buster Rhymes has referred he has referred to God, himself as Godzilla in a few verses. Yeah, really? Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. Pull that up. I, I just want to hear. It. I just want to hear. It. Like I said, I'm just fucking around. Uh, make sure. All I'm saying is Godzilla. Oh, is, is Buster Rhymes on your top twenty five? What's around in my top 25? Oh, I gotta look. I gotta that's a solid, that's a solid top 25 to me. Missy oh, Elliott is in my top 25. Oh wow. She ain't that mine. What? Wait, but she's not a rapper. <laughs> she is a rapper. Neither one of them are in mine either. Neither. Neither yeah. Missy Elliott <laughs> is not a rapper. Missy huh? is a rapper, bro. She's a rapper, but she's not my top 25. Neither is Buster. No disrespect. Yeah. Man, y'all ain't respecting their names, man. Right? I'm not. Yeah, I don't think the fuck? they don't I'm even know you, me. The fuck? I'm trying to tell you my list. I think my list is kind of full because one, I pretty yeah, it's gonna shock you. Definitely. I gotta move some people around, but yeah, because well, I, I got I got I got missing and fucking got down. I respect that. My shit. I have no listen. I would not argue down. I think if that's how you feel. It's no argument for me. You know what I'm saying? As far as like, no, no, I get that. But well, but if we're gonna put on list, I know both of them ain't gonna be on there because both of y'all don't have them on. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, but but you can, the you can make the argument though. You can make the argument. You can make the argument. Yeah. yeah. No, 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 because I try to make an argument about T Pain. That shit ain't working. So I, mean, <laughs> I, just, I just feel like no, I but like, I mean, like for me, like knowing T Pain's music, like I'm more on Tokyo side, but I, I really can't put. What is it? A horse in a race? Because I don't listen to uh, Travis. Travis so it's like, who, who would be a better matchup against T Pain? That what I'm saying. I get why y'all say. I get why y'all say Travis. No, I I'm a Travis. Travis. No, no, I'm talking. I'm talking. I'm talking about the two down here. <laughs> I get why y'all say Travis. Cause I'm a Travis fan. Yeah. Oh, oh well, well. Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah this that's the answer. Edits. All right. All right. <laughs> the top. K and Deuce or okay, Mo Fire. I get why y'all saying T Pain. I mean, I mean T Pain will lose to Travis Scott. Cause I'm a T, I'm a Travis Scott fan, and I, I know majority of the songs. And I'm like, yeah, they fucking rocking them. But then if I'm looking at if I'm looking at the people that don't normally listen to Travis, I'm looking like okay, some of the songs that Travis play might not hit well as. Oh, uh, T Pain will. Yeah, and, and, that, and that was my argument. I don't think they're in the same class. That's what I was trying to get at. I'm not trying to say Travis Scott will get washed, but I'm just saying I'm looking at it in the fan standpoint. Because not only that, I looked at some verses, and there's people in there like, "Oh, I didn't know he did that song," or "I don't know that song." 
I'm gonna put it on my playlist. You know what I mean? Because they, you know, get put on do verses. So I feel like more people gonna get put on to Travis than Travis actually winning a versus. Depending on yeah, who he go against. against. Depend, depending on who he go against. Kanye West? Kanye West is Kanye West is up there with like a Drake or a Jay-Z. I mean, I still believe we could put T Pain versus Travis. I still still gonna say Travis. Like all our verses are set up and watched all the verses I watch, like that's like that's why I said the DMX and Snoop Dogg thing was unfair. You know what I'm saying? Because like yeah, X got slappers, X got bangers, and all the hard Swiss beat pause. But it's like Snoop got that for decades. It's just not fair. Whereas, like, if you look at Travis music, listen to his music his style of music, it's all hype, it's all energy. That shit gonna rock a versus whether you stand in the crowd or you watch it on your phone or IG. Yeah, y'all missed that because I asked that so, question. I'm sorry. Like, if, if, you have, if you have, I'm gonna buy you a drag gas nostalgia. Yeah, it's cool. But hey, don't you ever look uh, some fuck with the antidote? You know what I'm saying? Popping pills is all we know. You jumping out your fucking seat. You fucking might wreck your car when that shit come on. So that's what I'm saying. Like they not they not in the same. That wouldn't be a good matchup. It wouldn't be fair to T Bang because he's a legend in his own right. So yeah. I say if we can have someone similar, that'd be cool. I'm just saying like if it, if you put him in, like I said, you could do him and Travis. I just feel like it wouldn't be fair to T Bang because he's such a legend. I feel like it'd be like a Snoop Dogg DMX type thing. Right, legends in them, in themselves, but yeah, yeah, yeah. But I feel like DMX should outperform Snoop. 1,000%. Physically. 1,000%, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. Let's go. Yo, Dino, Dino posted the, the, the Method Man verse from the DMX tribute. Mm-hmm. And I already seen it. And I was like, okay, I, I, I hate fucking BET Awards. Are you That's ready fine. for this Busta Rhyme verse? Do yeah. it. That Mitch's guys in them. All right. It's called, it's from the, uh, it's the album in 09. It's called Back of My Bullshit. It was one I was in, but it didn't do that well. Okay. It's called a Little Song featuring JD Kiss and Lil Wayne called Respect My Kumbama. Damn, that sounds familiar. Mm-hmm. That's an old that. banger, bro. I'm going to play a little bit of it. Oh, fair that sounds familiar. YouTube, fair usage. Spotify, fair usage. I'm going to play a little bit. I'm going to try to break it up in between. Wait, what's, what's the track called again? Respect My Kumbama. Respect My Conglomerate. I'm going to play a little bit. Fair usage. Since we are the best, you agree with me, right? Okay, yeah, I remember this. Yeah, Fair usage. Remember. There we go. Respect my conglomerate. Oh, oh shit. shit. I'm trying to play it. So it's that one. On oh, Buster Rise verse, he says, you know, God, body, and the flesh, call me God too. It's towards the end. It's like towards like the last like eight bars. Okay. I don't know. It was just some fuckery. Because I was like, damn, I, I like I really haven't heard. Like a lot of rappers use Godzilla. It's all right though. King Kong got stumped out. You got eight town stumped. It's all right. <laughs> it's all right. We all seen it. It's okay. Godzilla. It's okay. King of Monsters. For a King of Monsters for a reason. All right. So, what what would be the perfect game for all of us to get on? I think Among Us. It's simple. It's easy to do. You know what I'm saying? It's not hard. To Wait. Do. do everybody got the same system? And you no, can play. I, I got you it's cross it? play? Yeah. I don't know. Among Is it? Uh, okay. You can play on your phone. You can play on your computer. You know what I'm saying? It's not on PlayStation yet. I saw it. It said it was coming soon as PlayStation 2. So I don't know if it's on Xbox. All right. So that, all right. So, well, I mean, yeah, but this is like in a new. Wait. How many episodes is it? Because I was, I was just on the channel and it looked like it was, we was coming up on, on 100 episodes. Oh, like an official. Uh, I think just the LHR. Oh, how many we got? Oh, shit, I ain't count. I think, I think when I was on it the other day, it said like 97, and I wanted to do something for like 100. Yeah, that's crazy. Hold on, let me see. <laughs> I know, I, I keep bouncing around bringing up shit. I'm just trying to see behind the scenes, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, I wish I had like a twinkle thing, so on, let me see. I'll do the cash thing. There we go. Manifest some money in this moment. Um... Dang, maybe I have to go on the channel. Yeah, so when I type in LHR Network, 
I go to the page and go to videos. I can't see that. Cause it like it was like as soon as I pulled it up, like it said it at the top how many videos were like available for the page or for the channel. And the other day it was like ninety seven, I believe. About oh no. Let me add it up. Okay, so I got I got all the playlists pulled up. So if anybody got calculated ready, we're not sponsored by them. Edit that out. Oh, my bad. My bad. <laughs> Looking at hey. it, that, that's pretty close to 90 something. I'm all right. So, 34, 38, 22, 27. Well, tape officially, we got 38 videos. All right. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> hey, she, hey, what's that thing right. called the, with the beads? She got, she wants to go in her obulus. Is that what it's called? Yeah, Advocate. yeah, yeah. Advocate. 38. 38. <laughs> we, got, we got 34 for our uh, pre po tails. Okay. All right. We got 22 for Nightcap. Okay. Here we got two for the Gratitude series. Okay. Here we got seven for Rady K. All right, somebody coming up on 10. That's 103. Dang, so we missed it. Uh, I don't know where I was, <laughs> but you know what? You know what it is? <laughs> oh, oh so we hit that last week. Yeah, yeah. but I, I guess what it is, you just uploaded stuff. So that took it over the 100 mark. Because like I said, when I seen it, I was like, I know he just uploaded some stuff. And it was like 97, 98. Oh, Hold man. on, I miss, I miss, I miss what we want. Hey, well, hey, shout out to us. Oh, uh, well. Come on, what the uh, fuck we celebrating? I'm going to have I'm gonna 100, have, episodes. I'm, we over 100, 100 episodes. episodes. All right, I'm going to have the homies torch oh, something 100? to celebrate. Yes, yes. We over 100? I'm gonna go live. I'm gonna go live on on Here. IG, and I'm gonna have the homies twerk song for the celebration. Yeah, send me that. We over 100. Hey, guys, guys, paint paint, 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 paint one <laughs> zero zero on on, on the ass cheek on the ass cheek. No, put one. Time no, out. put one Time zero. Out. One of them got a lot of ass, bro. That's a lot of our ass. Our faces is four of us, two per <laughs> cheek. I don't want my face on the ass. No, I don't one of her cheeks equals hey. two hey. cheeks, bro. No, no, I don't mean. I don't mean like I don't want my face physically on the ass, but painting my face okay. on the ass. I don't know if the, how they're gonna right. translate. Hey. hey, I got a twin. I got a bro. twin. Listen, listen. <laughs> you can put me up on what, the what, one of my homegirls' <laughs> cheeks is too cheap, bro. She got a lot of ass. Bro. I, That's a lot of ass. I, I so, the, so I, should we wait for a I call this on left? I call this on the left one. The smash that he called dibs on the left one. I don't know how my face. I don't know how my face gonna transpire. Okay, Tokyo, you not even an ass man. Yeah, you not an ass man. But this shit owns the titties. She got a lot of titties too. So what you mean? Now I have to play. Hold on, maybe I should play. I'm playing the wrong one. We're supposed to be celebrating, man. Why are you trying? Oh, to my bad, my bad. All right, my bad. No, Tokyo too. I was like, we're supposed to be celebrating. You know what I'm saying? This is a happy occasion. We did over 100 episodes of whatever it is that we call it. No, I'm saying of this content. I think that's great. Oh so, no, no, I'm happy. Uh, yeah, it's a milestone. I just thought on this. This is dope because I ain't know that. I think it's something really cool that we can do. All right, why don't we talk about like maybe some of our favorite memories? of like doing this that what we do it can be maybe something nobody might know about maybe you know like let's do it you know i think all right should enjoy that all right i'm gonna right, go you. first go first yeah, all right okay all right so okay <laughs> so matter of fact it was an episode where we actually recorded with dante it was about complete battle rap it was like this was way before you came on Tokyo. and I can't remember who was on, but it was a whole lot of people in and out. It was like three hours long. It was only supposed to be like a yellow tape shit, right? But I remember at the time, this was when I can't, I was, I can't remember what it was. It was going on with something. And, but anyway, everybody in the entire Zoom meeting was yelling at each other, like, like cussing at each other for like five minutes straight. I'm talking about like at the top of our lungs, like, and it was at that point that I realized, like, maybe I might be too ratchet for this shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, because it was like, I can't remember what we was arguing about. We was all, like, just cussing each other out. But it was, like, mad aggressive, but it was, like, all love. It was weird as fuck. And for some re- I guess that's the reason why that shit got deleted. Because that was on my, like, our old computer. And I wish I would have seen it. But I had the old computer right before, you know, the money came. And 
it got lost amongst all my other shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I had some fucking music for, like, nightcap and shit that got lost and shit. Can't find it. Didn't know it. I had all these type of clouds that I paid for, and I ain't used not one of them. You know what I'm saying? The only one I use is my PlayStation. <laughs> and I barely use that. I got to remind myself to upload the shit up on there. But anyway, like, there's a shit like that. I just like that. I like the rawness of it. I just like, that's why I like doing this, like, every week. I just like the rawness of fucking just come on here and speak my mind, you know what I'm saying? Even though I know for a fact that Mike's not going to agree with not one thing. <laughs> Until someone else come on and say the exact same thing that I say, then he agrees. But that's just what it is. That's what it is. It's like <laughs> kind of like it's like the heat in the snow miser. You know what I'm saying? You got the heat miser. You know what I'm saying? Which is me. You got the snow miser, which is him. And so we always gonna have that. I'm a winter house. baby, and I'm from Detroit. I'm a winter baby too. Oh okay. Yeah. But you from the south? Whoa, whoa, whoa. South. Y'all winters ain't the same. Winter. That's winter's not different. winter. Let's 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 put some respect. That's I'm not winter. winter. That's I'm not winter. That's more like, like an extended fall, like extended fall. <laughs> That's what I'm like saying. That. I'm from Detroit. <laughs> yeah. Hey, 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 I'm from the South too, and I know niggas see one, one little ice, black mm-hmm. ice, and niggas going nuts. Down. Oh my god. I was born in February. I'm a winter baby. I was born in November, bro. You are extended fall baby. Extended That's fall? not winter. That's not winter. <laughs> You from Ohio. Y'all know nothing but snow and Boy, we, that- we the winter. <laughs> hey, look, 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 look. I sell us we, being we the hit. South because we get the hot. We, we hit. got hot. We they don't understand our hot. They don't understand our heat. That was the reason why they used to call us hot Atlanta for a reason. So you tell me. definitely get hot of here. Okay, so y'all don't yeah. know, so y'all don't believe in the rules of like how they say what actual seasons are because we don't hit spring until March. We hit seasons and more. Nigga, we had two or more seasons in one damn season. Mm-hmm. Well, first of all, y'all hot is not <laughs> like our hot. <laughs> I don't go that far. Your hot is not like our hot. Detroit is this, right? Yeah. Y'all hot. We get hot up here. 100 degrees, and I'm right up Detroit, right off the water. So that- <laughs> yes, yeah, we get ice. hot. Y'all are the real ice people. Like, that's why y'all so angry and shit and aggressive, because y'all is cold. That's people. why y'all want to shoot niggas and shit, shoot because... Niggas with your Tams on and shit. Because the bullets are more harder when they're cold. I don't want to do battle rap. <laughs> no, they travel faster and farther in the cold. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you Only you would know that, because it get cold up there. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just in saying, the heat, like, for me, you just getting burnt. Period. For me, I, I've, mm-hmm. I've, I've the sun I've shoot us February. every day. I've been in February when it's been like snow. I've seen snow. Like, yeah, yeah. Not real snow, snow, but you, I got you. You go in the pool, you hop out, and you about the color of K's hoodie. Bro, it get hot up north, man. It, it get definitely get hot. Get we are hot. hot. Look like, at Oregon right now. <laughs> Fucking Canada! You think you it's think like that background of you think that background Canada. of Deuce you think that background of Deuce has is, is fucking is fucking goddamn Milwaukee? No, that's no, what we are that's trying to go back. To. That's, no, that's <laughs> exactly what we're trying to go back to. This is manifestation. This is exactly what's yeah. gonna happen as soon as we get yeah. back. Like as soon as we sign, as soon as I sign that check, I'm telling y'all, I'm telling you. Listen, you see my background? You don't it's think it's hot as fuck back here? To Oahu, because this is going. We're just <laughs> yeah, because you fucking around with all them play buddies. Real hot. You better, you better go, no, get, hit, go get that peanut butter let shot. Me, let me hit my boy Sammy right quick. All right, Kate, go, do you go have ahead. Do, you have do I have a memory? Yeah. I don't have one yet. I'm still waiting to make one. No, what you talking about? We just we had a we had a moment on your your show that was probably could could hit your top favorite. Uh, yeah, I was like, what? Two, three? I don't know because all my favorite memories are her show. We ain't not in it. <laughs> oh yeah, that's true. That's true. That's true. I'm keeping it real. We only had one episode and it was like, all right, y'all niggas. <laughs> our shit was cool, but her shit. Nah, no, no, no. I mean, I don't, I don't have no. Matter of fact, no, I don't have a. I will have a memory when next week when we make when we record this freak Nick episode. What is? Glad I'm, all right, I'm two. This, you know, <laughs> I can participate. You know, so future memories. 
to future memory. Yeah, to future memory. Yeah. Hopefully, I can F-R-G-B. bring my that friend <laughs> on here. <laughs> that shit's soft. F-R-G-B. Oh, would you ever? Oh no, I'll, I'll wait. Yeah, but she don't got one. So wait, not yet, not yet. No, not yeah, no, uh, no, uh, is she rookie? Uh, she rookie, rookie podcast. Yeah, I'm the rookie. Yeah, Kuka. She started with fights at first. But um, I think mine was like early on after the horror episode. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think you did, Eric, because I told you it was cool when I like had an episode. Like talking about being downrange. Like, oh, that's like 17 episodes. Bro. Huh? I've done a lot of editing. That's like you've done that like 17 episodes. No, no, no. What, what I'm, t- I'm talking about like I know what you're talking about. I know exactly. Yeah, what you're yeah, yeah. Like when I was like physically crying on camera. Yeah. It, like, hey, yo, I cut this out, man. You want me to stop recording? I was like, nah, because I feel like people need to see see that. And right. Right. That's that's when I was like, you know what? This is a comfort. Like I, I can. I can be me on this show. And I was able to like, go. So it's like, yeah, that was, I think that was like probably like the most memorable like moment where it was just like, I was at my most vulnerable. And I just don't know how many people seen it. Even if you pull up the numbers, I just feel like, you know, it's just like, I don't know. It's, it's enough though. It's enough. That's why I say we have a platform. No matter how big or how small, and it's growing. You know, shout out to y'all. But you know, that's why I try to make sure y'all understand the importance. You know what I'm saying? That's why when y'all ask me, "What is this? What is this?" That's why I was like, "Man, I think maybe that's on me because I should have told y'all how I envisioned this network to be." Because it's like, like I tell y'all all the time, like, man, when I have conversations about shit that. That we put out like I like that shit. I like those conversations because I mean, this happening with me. Fuck, I hate North Carolina. Man. Fireworks. No fucking thunderstorms. Thunderstorms too. Thunder. Yep. Yeah. So that was. I guess that's another episode. You know what I'm saying? No, I'm just. It, it, man, I, 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 if I get if I chime out, the power went out. It's, it's all good. So. I had an episode. This seemed like a night of like oddness, but this is fire because I didn't know we went up on our episode. But yeah, it's kind of like one of the things where it's like I like what we do because it's like you're so different. You know, like us, we record literally three different shows in one sitting. You know, Kay got her shit is a whole different concept, whole different vibe. You know, to it, and, and it's like I like the conversation that it sparks, and that's why I wanted to be. You know, what I'm saying I wanted to be something that comes from an honest space, like something that's true to us and true to the people that watch and listen to it. So. You know, for those who ask me, what is this? Like, you know, why should I subscribe? One, because we're a black owned business. That's one. <laughs> and two, <laughs> two, I'm just saying, just watch. All I can say is just watch and listen and, you know, you make your own judgment. You know what I'm saying? But the fact that you're even coming here and you're curious about this is enough for me. You know what I'm saying? But if you want to do a little bit more, you hit that join button. Five bucks <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm an official smoky, all those perks and stuff. You know, but that's a meal that got me. I might chop that Bro, my fucking skin looks amazing. I just want to say that. Well, turn the yeah. filter off. It's not a filter. I'm just <laughs> beautiful. Like, cut it out. <laughs> hey, you know, I don't have no blemishes, but I can give you my skincare regimen advice. I know you know. Oh, no, I'm good. I'm good. Tokyo Smokey. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to. Yeah, Playboy. What's happening? What's your memory? First of all, Fights, you chopped off the mutton chops, bro. What's going on? I know. Got something, something different. All right. Um. Damn. Uh, my favorite moment when we realized um two chains was the Snoop Dogg of the South. Oh, that was a good moment. Yeah, that was good. Damn, damn, bro. That was good. Brown, Brown got my my favorite one because when he said that, I was like, "Damn right." That was spot on, though. It was spot yeah. on. Yeah, it was spot on. That was, that was one of my moments. Cause I was like, "Damn, that's that's fucking for real." And that's why that's what that's what throws me off because it's like we'll have moments like that, and y'all niggas come on here every week and say shit that just had me thinking like, "Who are these people?" Like, <laughs> like I don't even know y'all. And it's like I'm the one that barely come in and give my input because it's like I kind of like 
you know, I, I think of scenarios and shit and topics I want to talk about and see our reaction to it. So I barely like a moderator. Yeah. See, right? <laughs> he said yeah. You said yeah. You gonna edit that shit out. You said yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. I'm gonna play all the drop. Yeah, drop. What kills all the things? You said yeah. Playing all that. You got me. I said it. You know what I'm saying? It's okay. But it's documented. You're wrong <laughs> dozens of times. <laughs> and you're not coming back now. One time, he's like, well, I always come back to say when I'm wrong. I'm like, you've never done that. <laughs> I say, tell me you've done that. Bikes, listen, I'm telling you, if you're out there, if you're like some type of young type of video type editor type guy, you know what I'm saying? If you want to come be part of the team, please hit me up. Because I would love to bring up the segments of like all the times that you've been wrong and all the times you didn't. <laughs> then you bring up, bring up two right times where I was wrong. Yo, that should be a separate video that you should put up all the cut. <laughs> like, like That's a it. Oh, like I'm, I'm, I'm just no, no. What, what I'm saying is like a highlight reel. Not, not like a subjective. Just like no, like fuck, she was wrong on this. One. And I'll admit, like, okay, my bad. I'm on. I'll say it right now. Bring up just two. Hmm. Now I went from three to two. <laughs> no, I said two. No, I said two. I started no, with two. Three. No, you said three. I said two. I said two. Oh, I said oh, too. Oh, dementia. When I was telling you about how Uzi was a, a, a gangster, a sassy savage. And I said that, it on the podcast. I was like, oh, Uzi came on and he was like, you know, Uzi is really about that life. Nice. Yeah, and I was like, oh, shit, I would never thought that. I said that. I said it on the pod. I was like, I never would have thought that. That's not saying you're wrong. You're okay, but I'm wrong. I'm wrong. Uzi, somebody Uzi, from there Uzi, said, Uzi. He, somebody from there said he's a real G. I'm wrong. Okay. He did admit that on um, why he was there. Thank though. I, you. I remember. I admitted to it. I watched it eighteen thousand times. You did not say I was wrong. <laughs> you said I would never. But, but I admit. But I. All right. Fine. I didn't. I didn't say the words. Got gotcha. you. Listen, word Smith. You the one that big on. Okay, no, I got you. You right. Oh yeah, that's true. <laughs> you are word Smith. Me. See, I just said it. I was like, see, you right. You right. Just saying. And that that three times. What four? <laughs> no, not that about four. Where the advocates at? <laughs> Why you think it's so hard? No, you you got to make sure you got to make it's sure. So many, but I want I want something that's actual, like yeah, you know something like, like I can't I can't talk my way out of it. I got you. I mean, you can talk about anything. I give you that. Yeah, it's I'm like a life. You know it's something I it's gotta be something I really care about. Ooh. Oh, but that be subjective though. Hmm. Well, we about to find out. We about to find out. Yeah, but I mean, I don't care. <laughs> so, all right. <laughs> like, so, <laughs> man, you fucking white people all the time. So, the whole, remember when I was trying to explain to y'all that Beyonce made Jay-Z a household name. And you remember that whole thing with me and Dante had, that whole argument on face, uh, Facebook Live. And you were on my side. Yeah. You were on my side. Yeah. But, and there's a specific episode with certain yeah, amount of people proud. and I was trying to say that and y'all was arguing me down and it was like no 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 he, he's smart I was like yes I'm not saying he's not smart none of that I'm just saying like she was a bigger name she was made more households than he was mm-hmm. like we was trying to explain to nothing right so. I said that last week because you brought it up and I was like no what I said on that original episode was that Jay-Z chose Beyonce as like a business type of move. Like he knew he needed to clean up his image in order to move, to progress farther in the business world. And that's, that's what, that support my argument saying that because of that, because she was in more household, she was a household name. Yeah, I never, I never, I never argued against that. You and Brown were like jumping on my damn case about that. Can we go from that to a whole? I think that's the same episode we talk about the whole Kylie Jenner being a self made uh, billionaire, which I like the episode too. Like that episode. <laughs> Matter of fact, I found people. That was, that I think that was that. I think that was saying. Yeah, I think because I think Kay was on there too until she left, but you know. But you know. But you say the same thing though, right? She's not a billionaire. Not a self made billionaire. She got a situation. So she is self made billionaire. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yes. Hold up. That's her name, right? Hold up. Yeah. Pause. 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 Deuce. I don't know if anybody hearing Deuce okay because I can't hardly hear Deuce at all. I don't know if this is set. I, I hear him fine. I hear him too. Oh, you can't hear me? I can't I can't hardly hear him. Like it's not like muffled me on my end. But maybe they're just me. 
I don't know. Mm-hmm. I thought that was a setup. <laughs> but I no. did too. I thought you. Yeah. I thought you were about to hit him. I, I was waiting for the <laughs> drop. I was wondering, like, like, I was waiting for the drop, but you know. Nah, I was. I was thinking. But about yeah, I definitely was on that episode, and I had to bump. I'm just saying that. Hey, I was right. You had my back on that one with me. You know when Dante was going there. You know. But I, I, I said that. I said that on the first episode, and then I said the same thing last week. I did it. I did agree on that first episode that Kanye West Nasty was a bigger name. Oh, the Kanye West name? Yeah, he Kanye know, West he's name. not gonna. He's not gonna say. He's no, no, fuck no. He's not gonna say. He's not fuck no. Say. Fuck no. <laughs> All right, Kay, Kay, do you think, because I, I, I still don't I still don't remember if that came out or not. I, I, I don't remember us recording yeah, that whole, but that whole thing. Oh, we recorded that one. Yeah, we did. Okay. We so, Kay. What's up? So, my argument was that I, I believe Jay-Z is a more sought out businessman than Kanye, even though Kanye is, actually, I think I think somebody just told me they went back and corrected it. He's not worth $6 billion anymore. Like he's just over like three something million, but he's still not million. My bad, billion. billion yeah. He's still worth more than Jay Z. Mm-hmm. That more people would, want, would rather work with Kanye over Jay Z. Is is that like a good good summary of the argument? I mean, I mean, not not. Well, my argument was mainly is saying that he doesn't need the table now. He even has his own. You're saying that he will have to go to his table, go to that be at the certain tables to these people and you have to change his attitude his actions I was like nah now no, that no. he's got to that level he has his own table so they have to come to him alright so I'm I'll, I'll go. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna stick with, with what I was saying like I, I just my argument was that I believe more business like billionaires out there corporations would rather partner themselves with a Jay Z over a Kanye even though Kanye is worth more on paper do you agree disagree or what or have more questions on to be elaborate because Tokyo is that is like is that a good summary of that argument uh partially. That's, that's from my end that's how I felt like that's a, that was my argument we're, we're talking just like strictly business wise yeah. right yeah, yeah, yeah not music we, yeah because both of them are like far beyond music yeah, you, you can right. win with either one of them with music. Yeah, they can do it first. Yeah. Kanye will win them. Okay, are we talking before or after this divorce from Kim K? Um, were they getting a divorce? I think I think that was just coming in the news, but I don't yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, that was that was even with after. even with the divorce, I still say he's solid. He's still solid. I don't. Okay, so if you're saying before. The divorce, they're they're gonna. I would say with Kanye, despite his controversial antics, it's just the fact that he's tied to the Kardashian name and Kris Jenner, which is a good thing, um, because then you're gonna be tied to Kris Jenner, who's like a momager genius. So, Selfie. yeah. Well, yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on. She, she self made. Let me. Wait, wait. Is, that the mo- is that the mother or the daughter? That's the mother. The mother. mother. All right, the I'm mother. gonna let you. It's the fucking whore. My bad. Horse. <laughs> Why you didn't finish it? <laughs> Why you didn't finish? Oh, Why you didn't finish? What the kid do? Likes. What the kid do? That it. That is your too short word. If, if you was too short and you was like, what's my favorite, my favorite word? Whore. Whore. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I, stopped, I stopped myself. I stopped myself because I don't know. Hey, Carnage, please make a song out of that. Please. Or she married into her family situation. That's so true. I don't know enough about her to call her a whore. I'm just, I only said that and that was very sexist of me to call her a fucking whore because I just, I looked at her as a woman that married into a lot of money and she took advantage of that. She did, but anyway. Oh, okay. So she's a fucking whore. <laughs> yeah, she's, she's a fucking whore. She, she's a fucking whore, and she, she breeded a couple All of right, them. So so. She ain't self made. She she sucked her way up the ladder. That's self made. She the fuck did. And, uh, yeah, she man. made her way to hold it, bro. All right, go ahead, my bad. Go ahead, Kay. Anyways, let me give it. 
I, I feel like before he gets the divorce from Kim K, they would more rather do business with him. Just because he has years of his own personal business, you know, ideals and, you know, thoughts, but he also is getting some from Kris Jenner, who, despite her being a little hoe bag, she's extremely smart business-wise. So that rubbed off savvy. on him. Yes, he's very savvy. And then, <laughs> also, <laughs> then not to mention, like, if anything does go left or whatever, he's, he's gonna have the back you've ever heard. Like, they're gonna be protected. Now, after this divorce, I feel like they're gonna more so go with Jay-Z because he's the safer um, choice. You don't really have to worry about him doing the most and being in the media and the tabloids and all of that. He's gonna make conscientious business choices, not too many risky choices. And you know what you're gonna get with Kanye. You don't really know what you're gonna get and you don't have that security blanket. I think my whole that was, that was my biggest like, argument. That was, I think I was corporations, for the most part, Dang. Dang. all they care about is money. They don't give a fuck about all this moral stuff like Black Lives Matter. If that wasn't a big hoopla, if everybody wasn't in support of Black Lives Matter, they wouldn't have been like, hey, let's stop doing this or let's take a knee and all the shit. Mm -hmm. Let's do these Black Lives Matter themed clothing lines and shit like that. Or, you know, or like COVID thing. If they thought COVID was a hoax, they wouldn't be making all these different custom masks and stuff like that. Or they go where the money is. So it doesn't matter if mm -hmm. he's married or he's got four, four different... <sighs> Yeah, I, I, I say to a certain extent. I say to a certain extent that they care because if shit really hitting a fan really hard, then you see corporations pull away. They're not. They renounce in their ties with this person, and I feel like Kanye really pushes the buttons with that. All right, Kanye, you doing the motherfucking most, bro? Like you keep pushing it, I'm gonna have to like leave you high and dry. Whereas Jay Z, like. He doesn't even push, honestly, for real, compared to Kanye. I, I get that. He's more like of a but, 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 yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put it like this: Kanye has built his own table without Chris Jenner, because even before that, he still had a shoe with Nike, Louis Vuitton, and he had all these little motherfuckers out here at one point in time wearing shade glasses. Wait, when did they get married? They've been together. They've been together for like eight. They've been years. together for a, eight for years. A long time. He, 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 he had those he shoes. Had all of those things, right? But right, before, right before, right before. Yeah, before, you know. before. But when he actively was married to her, is when he has his own clothing line and his own shoe. Like, but he was already working on that way before them was. So you don't you don't think that that was a factor? That help that deal go through? No, because Kanye was gonna do what Kanye wanted to do. In all his business business ventures, he does what Kanye wanted to do. And Kim has no hands before. That's why I was like, because like think about it, when he did that freestyle, he confessed his love to her, right? Right when she was getting divorced from that uh, basketball player. Uh huh. The Red yeah. October's was already the biggest thing ever, and they came out a couple years before that. Niggas were buying fake shoes and don't shit. Macklemore bought fake shoes and threw the motherfuckers in the crowd and remember his contract. His contract ran it with Nike, and then they wanted they he wanted to be more part of it, and he they said no. That's why he went to Adidas. Adidas. Yeah. And when he and that's when he made the move, boom, move, boom. And Cold those motherfuckers sold like hell, and those are a thousand a piece. Yeah. Uh, I don't uh, like none of his shit except for like but, one but, pair, and I still wouldn't buy it. I would support. But but that's what I'm saying. He like, still he still built the table with or without Kim family. Kim mm. help. Uh, oh Kim no, help. oh man. I mean, so you can't say wait. Right, so you can't say. So you can't say he built the table and then say with Kim's help. Or no, Kim I helped. said I said Kim help. When you she can't came say that. The, no, when she came in the middle, but the table was already built before Kim was there. You can't say you can't he say built the table. Kanye wasn't she surviving. Awesome. She did it. I ain't saying it. it. She's saying it. <laughs> you can't say I that. Said that shit. Either what? he built the table or he was building the table with the help of his wife. I said oh, yeah. he built the table before he got with his wife. He already and had then you the table said Kim already helped. built. Yeah, but she. But I she said, with or expensive. without Kim she help, he already had a table. She slid about five and then you years. Said, ago. And then you said Kim help, which she did because but she. But did you hear me say with herself. or without Kim? It doesn't help. matter. She helped. Being, being married helps, man. 
Yeah, she helped. It brings a a, a an Kanye wasn't struggling. Kanye wasn't struggling with Kim. It's not. It's Kim not Kim about him struggling. It's so but he brought, brought a different Beyonce. audience. She yeah, brought a different audience. She brought. I said that. I said that. I said Beyonce helped Jay Z. Yeah, she brought a, a completely different audience, the, the bougie money audience. <laughs> Kanye was already getting hype beast money before Kim got Yeah, there. but what she's saying is like how like if he already built the table, then like pretty much what your bikes are saying, then she just helped brought the chairs to it. She didn't help build the table. Like she didn't help. He, he can't, it can't be one thing and then the same thing because if either he built it or she helped him build it. But I said even even if so, he table, help. so he built a table with eight chairs. With no chairs. And no, right no now chairs. he had 15 chairs. So she brung additional, or fuck it, 12 chairs. She brung an additional four or five chairs to the table that he has right now. He sits at the head. He's in charge of all this shit, but she brung more. Well, people. I'm going I'm going off of what Sai Hada Prince, which is his ghost rider, that be all always with him. Mm-hmm. Kanye runs all of his shit. Kim don't have shit to say in it. Nobody else has shit, shit to say in, in it. it. And he For runs sure. his own business. He, <laughs> like, I ain't he, never he been dude, you can you can run your own business but, and still get free promo from your significant other, which is a form of so, help, which so is what she did. He's building, it's helping. And oh, his kid, even though they get a divorce, and his baby, kid. I love you. Happy like, birthday! At the same time, like her KK, her KKW collection, he's part owner in that. She's a majority owner in that, but he helped her build that. So I mean, that's a part of the table, right? No, he makes money off of it, right? Well, yeah, obviously he's part owner. But. Yeah, I'm just saying, like the same way that she helped him is like, you I think it was kind of a way that he helped her, like. It's kind of like, all right, I know about the fashion industry, so I'm going to get you a whole fashion line so you can become your own, like, Albanian that, that's, Fenty. Listen, that's like, that's like, okay, Kylie Jenner, right? Lip kit. <laughs> when she was dating, when she was dating Tiger, he oh, brought a completely ratchet audience that started buying her But she was going to survive without Tiger it anyway. Did, it, did, it didn't matter. It just made her earn twice as much because he brought a whole different audience that she she was touching but she wasn't touching and the way she was touching it it was controversial because she kept being in the media negatively because she didn't know how to maneuver in that Mm -hmm. period i I didn't know who the fuck she was i didn't know she existed until it was still it was still people like it was still people like that until she got with travis same all right so i mean they knew who she was yeah at that point yeah yeah, they knew who she was. I'm, I'm talking about like because the first of all, Tiger don't really have no ugly like girls. Exes. Yeah, he don't do ugly. So uh, publicly. And then once I'm pretty, it's, I'm pretty sure it's he got like, somebody. It's with like that no, girl. and it is like and it's like once Tiger leave them, they elevate even higher than what they already are, and which hey, is what happens. That's true. The yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Because <laughs> Black China elevated crazy. Hell yeah. Kylie elevated crazy. Hell yeah. I'm pretty sure the next like, one's gonna elevate crazy. Crazy. Like, the fact that somebody of Tiger's caliber had Kylie Jenner and then they broke up, and then somebody like Travis Scott on his, he went and had Tiger Sloppy Tiger. Come on, man. And then, look, his career took off, though. Yeah, and then his career took off. Uh, And Tiger's killing. Like, he Mm -hmm. makes the type of music that bitches want to hear, especially if they trying to shake their ass or something. Yup. And then now... That's Todd Dallasan, Tiger, and the DJ Mustard beat. And that's it. That's it. That's it. Ass is shaking. (laughs) Do you agree with me or do you agree with them? As long as as you're 50-50. Who, me? Oh, you're talking about, okay. Oh, me? No, I agree Jay- with you. The whole Jay Z and, and yeah, I I, I agree with you. Okay. Broke it down as to like. I don't I don't agree whatever. with you, cause man, that dude had had shit way before her, and just yeah. to say that the family made him that Jay-Z? nah. Kanye, Kanye got a lot lot more control over um his own shit and done done work with a lot of people. 
He was still, control, he was sitting in the room with a lot elevated. of the before before he got with Kim. He was still sitting in the room with a lot of the 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 people that he that he were that he that he wanted to be with. The yeah, all, like you, the you can, have, you can have control over your stuff and still be elevated. But if it, all right, so it's like so if like I started this right and then. And then, like, say I get married, and then my wife come in and enhance it. You know what I'm saying? So you're pretty much saying, mm-hmm. like, that's the only reason why, you know, that's not me coming, like, building a table or whatever it is like that. Because she doesn't know nothing about the fashion world. The reason why he's at that three point whatever billion is because he got to deal with Gap. The reason why he got to deal with Gap is because his fashion knowledge and his stuff sales. That has nothing to do with Kim. You know what I'm saying? It's probably nice, but I think like, Gap was a seller. They were about to, they were about to go under. So of course, what are they gonna do? Let's go get the black person. Hey, did, 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 did she introduce him to fashion? Nah, nah. Uh, he, like, he was, I, know, I know he was into fashion early on. He but, was into but shoes. Or into like she, fashion. No, like the shoes, actual fashion. Shoes, shoes. I would say shoes. Yes. Yeah. Somewhat shoes. fashion, but she's really a fashion guru. And compared then you that. got her. her yeah, line didn't even sell in Sears. Yeah, but but she was more accepted in the fashion world. Fashion world, and then you got she's her. a model, and then you have Kendall Jenner, right. who's also a model and in, into fashion. But she was a all, all of them have. That's the fashion right, world, bro. bro. Come on, man. But he, he was, was already, already in, in there that before world. that. He was already in there. He was an intern for like Louis yeah, Vuitton and all them. Okay, you're an intern compared to a model. Like which he one? He was you, there which, making which the clothes for her, but the fit in. All right, so you work, was- mail room, you work in the mail room, and I'm and I'm an executive uh, assistant to was- Kanye West. Who do you think has more pull? You okay, and by that logic, room? okay, that by logic, so they get a divorce, right? That means he's gonna lose his gap deal because he's getting a divorce with Kim K. I think he's no. gonna lose money. I think he's gonna lose money. I I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't not. because, because I, I don't. Can. I don't think so. It's already I'm gonna popular. Deal. I'm gonna I'm gonna give you. Like, give it you is. That's gonna look bad I'm, on them. I'm gonna give you five reasons why I, I I know that that Kanye has the fashion world on lock before Kim. Oh wow! Stronger, no. stronger, stronger came out. The what grad, graduation came out before he even talked to it. He was still with Amber Rose. He was still with Amber, Amber Rose. Rose was in the fashion industry. Come on, Wait, but because she was, of him. All right, go ahead. My she bad. She was my a bad. stripper, bro. My bad. My bad. Go ahead. She, she was a, a fucking cla- ass clapper. All right, my bad. Go ahead. Go ahead. What's wrong with ass clappers? Right. right. I said it. I you love ass clappers, right. but I'm just saying. I, I think of Amber Rose right now as being in the fashion industry. Go ahead. My bad. My bad. So, all I'm saying was, he had people wearing those shade ass glasses with the little fucking lines in them. Who was wearing? He had everybody wearing the motherfuckers. Everybody from Rihanna Where? to everybody. Where? It was one of those shits at the Oscars that year. Oh, so the famous people were wearing them because up here nobody was fucking wearing them shit. If they I were cheap, y'all would have been rocking them. <laughs> that, no was a, that was that was the hottest summer thing to have. Oh, Goddamn, no. nope. nobody up public? here was wearing. Niggas was wearing that shit yeah, at Coachella. Weird ass That's Coachella. That's in the West Coast. Nobody up here was wearing them because Ohio is racist. And I'm saying, Ohio I'm saying, is what? It's racist. And I'm good. <laughs> it, it is racist. I don't know what the word is. We don't. Oh know, yeah, no. Nah. Wear wax it like that. Like if it's not, no, we're not wearing it. So you saying in 2000? We got some corny dudes and some corny people, but nah, them them glasses. Polo, they wasn't being different wearing. color, fruity colored polos. I think that's a South thing. Everybody's wearing it. I think everybody's wearing that. Everybody wearing them. Everybody wearing okay, the colors. Yeah. And guess who did it? Not, not no fruity colors. Beans even color. talked about that shit. That's Beans mean. even talked about that shit. Fuck it. You don't know Benny Siegel? I know who yeah, Benny, Benny Siegel, Siegel is. Wearing. That was it. Benny cool. Siegel was beefing, beefing with that nigga because he thought that he turned hip hop soft. Okay, he had the chokehold on the game since he came in with the fashion. He was rocking the polos, the Louis Vuitton before y'all favorite rapper was. He was rocking, he was rocking the new newest Gucci Prada this and that before your favorite rapper was. I don't give a shit what my favorite rapper wear. I'm not buying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying he had he had the fashion world 
on lock no, before he even Big got was, with Big them. Was talking about fashion. Nas was talking about fashion. Jay was talking about fashion. Not at the level Kanye was talking about. Right, no, but right. they were saying it. But I you feel like go, no, you yeah, go no. Facts. Do you want to go cut like like? Facts like dates and all that stuff like that. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's, let's so hear, let's hear. Let's pick a year. When would y'all like to say that Kim Kardashian was like, like in the fashion? World? I don't know. Just in the year. fashion world. Just pick a year. Oh, uh, what year is that? When she was in Paris. Am I with Kanye? Yeah, but like, was, she, um, was with Kanye. she was married to Kanye. <laughs> Um, no, what year was that when she was in Paris? 2017. 2017. 2017. Yeah. Okay, so do 16. The year before. Okay. When they get married. A lot of shit happened in 2016. I don't know what the fuck was going on in 2016. Oh, no, no. But God so, when did they get married? When did they get married? When did they get married? Yeah, when did they get married? 2016. I'm gonna say, what? It might have been before that. They get married. Yeah, they got. Yeah, uh, they, they got married uh, on May twenty fourth, twenty fourteen. Yep, I knew it. My baby ain't like. <laughs> so let's do like two thousand thirteen, two thousand fourteen. So because they were my, dating, so you would think. Yeah, like, they were dating. Okay, if, yeah. If so she, go back she, further yeah, than that. Yeah, if she had access to to this world, she would have been introducing them to people. If that's yeah, I'll say two thousand thirteen. So you think or twelve. So you, so you think? From, yeah, two years before they married. So this is 2012. We're talking about right? This is Kanye West, right? So I'm a, let me paint a picture. Let me paint a picture for you, all right? This is 2012, right? Well, no, no. Was she Dude. was she in the fashion at the time? Was she a model? Turn right? the Bob Ross right quick. Get the afro out. <laughs> was, was was wear your jean shirt? Kim Kardashian a model in 2000? What we say, 12 or 13? What did we say? 12, 12, right? Two years well, before they got married. 12. Yeah, I think it's 12. Yeah, 2012. <sighs> yeah, because that's back when Chloe was still fat. No offense. Um, right. So, her sister, Chloe. Chloe Kardashian. She was the same when oh, I was she, until now. To the she's with uh, the, basketball the, star, right? The yeah, guy. the one they keep debating whether she OJ's daughter or not. Where she is. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Oh, 2012. Hold on, hold on. Right, 2012, hold on. they got it's an article and they talk about her introduction to the fashion world, right? So, mm-hmm. okay. so y'all, so we'll give her a 2012, right? All right. Uh-huh. All right. So, allow me to pay a picture for you guys, right? So, the time is 2012, right? 2012. 2012, right? In the world of hip hop, which is a growing music phenomenon, there's mm-hmm. a certain artist by the name of one Kanye West who just outsold the biggest artist on the planet at that time, 50 Cent. Four years prior. Four years prior to this point, right? Four Mm. years prior to this point. Not only did he do that, he dropped. Since that point, 808 to Heartbreak, Mm. My Beautiful Dark uh, dark Twisted uh, Fantasy, and Mm -hmm. then uh, he had a little break in between then, and that's when he got him and all that Kim and stuff. He was doing the good music stuff and all that pushing that stuff, right? Mm-hmm. Cool. Right. So, I mean, he had good music up, up and started. Mm-hmm. Yeezys was already a big thing. He was interning with Louis Vuitton and them years mm-hmm. before that. I'm talking about like, in, I'm talking about in the early 2000s. So, if Kim was introduced to the fashion world in 2012, is that, is that when she started? Yes. Okay. Started doing fashion, modeling, right? modeling, modeling. And, and that world, and then she's officially okay. recognized as someone in the fashion industry in 2012, okay. right? Now, she, I'm pretty sure she had the reality TV show. Ray J. She already came out at this point, right? but this is Kanye yeah. West, who was interning for Louis Vuitton, who had his own had shoe, shoe out, who had a shoe deal with Nike and Louis Vuitton, and Louis Vuitton, and he was designing fabrics and clothes. It was only the fact that because he was so brash was the reason why they ain't let him on. So he ended up, fuck it, he made a deal deal with the Adidas. And it took mm-hmm. off from there. I don't, I'm not saying that she didn't help because obviously I believe that Beyonce helped Jay-Z as far as him. Getting and I'm with that too. I'm not saying right. that, that that is not right. going to help, but. He built that motherfucking table. <laughs> like, he built you know the motherfucking he, table. That table was that. solid. He built that. From from Donda, his uh, this old touring flight thing, that's all him. Like. From his music, which is worth 110 million, uh, 10 million dollars, like all oh, that's him. He probably helped. That's you know? it. Yeah, it was amazing. Yeah, it's crazy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Nah, 
That, no. Nah. That's what it said on Billboard. It said uh, yeah, 110 million. 110 million. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeezys, Yeezys worth more than that alone. That's crazy. And but you gotta think about he's an artist. He's not. He's not. He's not. A, yeah. He's supposed to see that amount. You know what yeah. I'm saying? It's probably billions. It's probably worth billions. But he come on. This is a guy that wrote his own contract that said that he can't. He, he can't fucking. It. He can't. He can't fucking got down retire from music. <laughs> In his own contract. True, true. If he does, he gets sued by his own lady. I st- I stick with Jay. The, the perfect way she accept. The I'm, way she I'm, said I'm it sticking. I'm sticking with with you, Mark. Yeah, I'm sticking with you. I'm not saying it. He's just a safer bet. That's all it is. I, I, I yeah, said the same thing. I'm just saying thing. But you say he's a safer bet, but he makes the table. He. You still he, haven't answered my question. So. What. I said, I answered your question. He makes his own tape. He's going to be straight. So All she right. can add nothing to it. She didn't add to nothing to it. She can add to the table. No, no, no. food on the fucking table. But your is that table still toy, standing no, after no, everybody no. ate? You're tiptoeing around the question. Yes, she did. No, she didn't. That's it. There's no if, if, or if, or Did or Beyonce or add to Jay-Z's table? Absolutely. Yeah, All right, yeah. She added to the table. Okay. We didn't say he didn't make the table, or she he made it. But you she, said he made the she, table. But you but said after, no. and then we was like, but okay, you said so, after she, so she added him. to it, and you said no. Yeah, because he, he's more of a liability, man. Like it, everybody when 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 everybody gets a now when you at your own table. No, even even if you work a regular nine to five. And your boss knows you're going through a divorce. But I didn't make that table. No, 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 wait, wait. Like you work a nine to five, you making twenty dollars an hour. And your boss knows you're going through a divorce. They hopefully that boss is gonna keep an eye on you because it's like you're a liability. Once the divorce is final, you're a moral liability because of the financial burden that's coming from it. But did I build that table? You're still more of a liability. I'm gonna say do I own you're that business or say, no? So you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna take more risk to get back the money that you lost potentially. He already did that. He already went broke and came back. Yeah, but not through a divorce. You think he Kim was still, was he, had? he was still married? He was still married to Kim when he went broke. He was asking everybody for money, which everybody said no, and he paid that shit back with Yeezy. Man, that's the truth, though. She could have asked for half. But my stance is my stance is is that these businesses overall they go where the money's going. So it yeah. doesn't matter if he's divorced, married, or uh, he got ugly polygamous. Like they're gonna go if he's the hot thing right now. Everyone's buying all the ga- the gas. That's shit. that alone. That's that alone. I just said. That's that alone. I just said will make me more as a business go to him because not only he got himself out of bankruptcy with a shoe, not the clothing line, just the clothing line with a shoe. Why did what, he go uh, bankrupt? I was about to say, yeah, what chapter of bankruptcy was it? Because I, I know there's different chapters of bankruptcy. Yeah. It is. It, it wasn't like what we think bankruptcy means. No. Why did it he go bankrupt? Like, it's like at a stupid... Oh, like like, like like how Trump like Trump got yeah, bankrupt, yeah. man. Yeah, well, somebody like, Trump, got is, bankrupt. Trump is different, though. Like, Kanye is a way smarter businessman than Trump. Like, just like since he, where he was like, bankrupt. Like, 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 went bankrupt. Jim Jones went bankrupt. Big Kanye right. went bankrupt. It's like it's more of a a financial strategy than it is like oh I'm broke. Yeah, oh, you, you, you can say was, he was, the same thing, but like Trump, he was damn near crying about he was broke. Yeah, he but that nigga ass. was not so, broke. He was not gonna, gonna let that nigga be broke. Hmm. So, well, to hold up his lifestyle, I'm trying to see. He was broke. You looking it up, dude? Yeah, I'm looking it up. Uh-huh. They don't say what type. They just keep saying. They just say he was break bro. Yeah, they say yeah. he was in. Like, because Chris same. Jenner is not letting that shit get out. You're not letting none of that slip, bro. You not you know she's not playing that, bro. But see, you might making, you might find y'all making, it. After, y'all making it seem like the Kardashians made Kanye better. No, not. no better, one better. knows. That's bigger, not bigger, yes. bigger, better, bro. yes. I no, what? I just what say is, they're they're a security. But person. Kanye did more tear himself down with Kim than anything else. But but I'm I'm saying it's a flip side to where I think Kanye was a bigger household name than Kim when they got together. 
compared to Jay Z and Beyonce? I mean, yeah, and, and, and you you put it like that, yeah. So, so when you so when you so I feel like that's a that's like a bigger part of the argument is like you just think that Kanye was so huge in the industry that he didn't need anybody to make him bigger. So if anybody did come along, it couldn't it it, it didn't even have to mean that he got married. What is that, dude? He okay. could have partnered up with like another another. What is it? What is it? Hold on, hold on, hold on. What is so it? It doesn't. It doesn't say what type. It just breaks it down like what exactly his de- debt was. So pretty much the, uh, his debt was that he was trying to start up uh, these new companies. So he went. It was fifty three million dollars, and it was personal debt. What they mean by personal debt is because he used his personal money to start up good music, a good music franchise, huh. uh, and he said he invested. Uh, 30 million dollars into these capital collections whatever that fell through with this French person so yeah. that fell through so he was already in a hole about almost 40 million and then he yeah. said he, he uh, added he went into another 16 million dollar debt and trying to get his uh, the, with the Nike Air Yeezys he spent uh, pretty much that money getting it off the ground mm-hmm. because Nike wasn't putting no money towards that so mm-hmm. he still had but, all that debt and so it wasn't his up. businesses going into bankruptcy it was him personally yeah, yeah. So like his businesses were still gonna make money. It was just like, okay, right. if, you it, if you sue me, I ain't got no money, but my businesses do. Yeah, so they were saying that, that the fact that at 2013 his Jesus tour only grossed a million dollars. Wow, wow. So that means and he canceled. He canceled most of them. No shows. Most of them he had shows. An he you know, but Russ was saying it was just like you don't make as much as you. I thought you made a lot of money on the road, but. The way he yeah, kind of put it, I guess it just depends on how you set it up. Well, Russ was talking about mostly uh, if you were funded by a label anyway. Right. Independently, you, that's all you. Right. Because you still got to owe the labels at the end of the day. If they got your bus, they paying for your food, hotel, and all the other stuff. Yeah, show money you getting, though, but you still got to pay that shit back. Because they provided... Hey, ain't Russ independent? And Russ independent. The, yeah, Russ independent. So, I mean, so the way he was saying it was like, all right, so instead of the the industry paying for it, I got to pay for it. Like, uh-huh. so I got to pay for the bus to get their plane tickets. I got to pay for the security, the room, mm-hmm. the wardrobe. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, Russ tried. Yeah, Russ tried that dollars, whole, but... Russ tried the whole label thing. He didn't fuck with it. Yeah. And so he... And and plus, his dad, already, his dad already knows some people in the... Because his dad was in that, that type of work anyway. So... That's how he got most of his uh, information from his mm-hmm. dad working do that um do on uh, labels and you know knowing people and you know talking, yeah all most that. of most of Russ hype comes from overseas and Australia and all yeah. of that like he was big as fuck over there and when he started getting big and over here the other countries like y'all are late as fuck mm-hmm. yeah I didn't know that I wouldn't I would have never thought that. Yeah, I personally talked to Russ before. That nigga's cool as fuck. I know this promoter in Houston, Texas. His name's Charlie Hustle. This nigga, he makes it his business to get seven different incomes a month. Mm-hmm. And he does not play about that. And he really gets seven different incomes a month. I knew people on. I knew people that knew him in high school that he, he used to go yeah. to North, North but, Clayton um, down the street from me. And then yeah. all that when he was but, still down um, there. When I lived in Houston for a little bit, can't go there no more. Can't live there no more. I used to be in and out of the strip club with hustle, you know, because uh, he because <laughs> he was a promoter and he worked at the, the hottest uh, radio station in Houston, and he was a promoter and he worked at a, the strip club called um what is that place called in Houston? It's one of the biggest ones. Uh, what is it? Is it Onyx? That's in Houston, right? That's a, I think, I think, we got an Onyx in Atlanta. No, no, it's not Onyx. Okay, it's, um, it what's the other one? What's the other one in Houston? They be talking about it in songs. Hell yeah. Uh, um, damn. But yeah, he worked at that one. And um, one day we was riding. He was like, I was listening to Russ in the car. He was like, it's my man. I'm like, you're lying, bro. He's like, I'll call him right now on the phone. Man, called that man on the phone. He's like, yo, what up, Charlie? He's like, what up, Russ? I'm like, you're lying. He was like, yo, Russ, that my homie, I really know you. He's like, yeah, bro. Wait, did he shoot out a text before he made that phone call? No, he's he said, here's <laughs> my password. He texted me that day. 
And that was me nah, on that. Nah, he, he <laughs> gave me his phone. No, that's what he did. He gave me his phone, right? He was like, this is my password. I said, okay, put it in. He said, go to Russ. I said, okay. They call him. I was like, okay. Call D. I was like, yo, you're lying right now, bro. Nah, he, he was too. He's, he's really down to earth. He's very smart, too. Yeah, I'll be watching yeah. his lives on, on IG. Yeah, and stuff. yeah he's he, really, he really smart. smart dude. Like, he was doing... He was doing he was doing beats and stuff when he was going to North Clayton. My cousin, only reason why I know that my cousin dated his ass, and I was like, what the fuck? Cause I cause my whole family was on this like, oh yeah, she with that white boy, which she was Italian. Right, right. And I was like, yeah. no, but they, you know how black families is. If yeah. they ain't, if they ain't got no melanin, I ain't gonna lie. Ain't no and, and, and keep saying I'm not white, I'm Italian, and I keep on the white boy. So. <laughs> so yeah, he definitely Italian. But but he look white as hell. Yeah, but when he was down here, <laughs> but ain't he that already? White? He was already making a song. No, they Italian. But does yeah, yeah. so okay? So what's considered to be white? Europe, a European. I'm, all right, well, okay, well, well, right. well northern, make, northern, right. northern right. Europe. All right, really? no, no, yeah, that's, yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, so like, yeah, Italy's in the Med- Mediterranean. All right, I get that. Yeah. Okay. All right. They more they more oh. Spanish. They more close to Spanish than he just lacking pigment, that's all. Yeah. yeah, as far as like their language and stuff, yeah. Cause he from Jersey, moved to Georgia, and then everywhere else, I guess, after that. That's why I was like, why everybody hating on my man? <laughs> I wouldn't I wouldn't say language because they because I think Europe and the Mediterranean is kind of derived from Latin. No? That's why I said that's why I said that's why I said because like the English language is derived from Latin. Latin, yeah, but I'm talking about like Spanish as in like they more Yeah, but they speak the, Latin like like Spanish. Not the lang not the language the, the well, I'm I'm only saying it because somebody said language. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm being more literal. My bad. My bad. I shut the fuck up. What are you <laughs> not being literal? On that note, let's go ahead and close this uh, nightcap out. So right. uh, we got. I'm gonna try to keep track of like the actual episodes and stuff we upload. Let's, let's do like a milestone. So let's go. That's a One, bit milestone. 150. So we'll do 150, and then we're actually gonna make it a thing, and then we'll do some cool for y'all. Um, once again, we have a number you can call six seven eight six seven eight six six four. Seven five five five, right? Yeah, right. you gotta I'm keep doing the points, man. Oh, you talking about the song? I'm not. No, no, it's right about Tokyo. He started it, but he, he didn't oh, do it. Keep going. No, I didn't want to. I didn't want to keep doing it after you go with six five. Our right, Instagrams is all gonna be at the bottom <laughs> in the description. Uh, the merch, the link for the merch store is in there. Hit that. We got a, whole, a shit ton of new shit, a whole bunch of new shit, good cool shit, all in there. Yeah. Just click the link. I, I like it, Kay. And then um, she got Ready K stuff's coming soon. Yeah, I like that. I like that. I like that. I like that. Also, <laughs> yeah, yeah your man still ain't hit me, bro. That, yeah, that's what I was going to ask you earlier. All right. Yeah, I'll hit him again. Because I, I sent him your shit. I keep and he was just like, um, all right, is that who you is that who you was talking about? I was like, yeah. But you know he in the Army. And he, I think he just made Sergeant. He in Korea, so... But I hit him again because he, he is a, he is a really good artist. Hey, thanks, thanks. Yes. We're gonna close, we're gonna close out the show. Oh my bad, my bad. She broke it up. My bad. Why you ain't say K? Oh, that's fucked up. It's part black. Uh, yeah. uh, 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 anyway, so uh, we fuck with y'all. Thank y'all. Um, our subs has been going up again. We hit another surge. So uh, let me do like a live update. Right now we're at 24, 28 y'all. So thank y'all. Salute to y'all. Um, the, the episode of Nightcap is out right now. All this week's episode is out right now. You just heard K said you record Ready K. So that's coming next week. So, oh, God. A fire episode next week. I can't wait for y'all. That's going to be so dope. There's going to be so many gems coming from the episode. Like, it's going to be crazy. And uh, we got some other exciting stuff, too. Hopefully, you know, check, check, like, up. So, giggity. Thank y'all. Um, like I said, yeah, we got, got the joint. Come first. It will come first. We got the joint. We got the, uh, yes, definitely for sure. We got the, okay. joint, the join button. So if you want to join, become an official Smokey, get all the perks and all that good stuff, get the discounted merch and all that stuff. Go ahead, hit that button. Um, and we'll know. So, like, so if you think we don't even know, like, if you'll do it or not, trust me, we see it every time. So 
just do it with no and then that way i can give you all the information get your discord and you know give you the whole new experience and stuff you know maybe we might do some things we might bring y'all on the show you know what i'm saying pick from like the actual the like member of the show do something special for y'all keep it like an exclusive club like vip section or something you know yeah might do that but yeah so go ahead get your hair and nails done before you come on don't be like oh, i can't come on i ain't got my i missed my appointment okay I mean, that be that bullshit. Sorry, that yeah. be that bullshit. That's that's five bucks. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna stay that way for life. It's no other levels. That's it. You know what I'm saying? So five bucks. You know, subscribe to us. This is our. We're gonna this is our little hood Netflix. This is LHR and flex flex. <laughs> Fights. Um, I can't. I can't do the <laughs> end part, but I can. I, yeah, yeah, you I know. Can. So <clears throat> thank y'all. We fuck with y'all, and we will probably see y'all. Thank you.